What is the difference between disability insurance and SSI? Disability insurance can be Social Security Disability Insurance or STD Insurance, Limited Insurance, Mortgage Disability Insurance, Workers' Comp, and more. So, there is not one definition nor one set of differences. SSI is Supplemental Security Income. SSI disability benefits are available to low-income individuals who have either never worked or who haven't earned enough work credits to qualify for an insurance benefit. The one difference in common is that insurance is a contract, represented by a policy, in which an individual or entity receives financial protection or reimbursement benefits, against losses from an insurance company, which in the case of SSDI is the US Govet, in other cases, it is a state, insurance, company, etc., based on premiums paid in. A premium is the amount of money charged by the insurer to the policyholder for the coverage set forth in the insurance policy. Most policies require you work a certain amount of time before you are eligible to file a claim so that you don't pay one month's premiums and then file a claim. This is called a waiting period. For private insurance, it can be 30, 60, 90, 180 or 365 days. For SSDI, the number of work credits you need to qualify for disability benefits depends on your age when you become disabled. Generally, you need 40 credits, 20 of which were earned in the last 10 years ending with the year you become disabled. The earned income needed for a work credit changes from year to year. In 2020, for example, you earn one credit for each $1,410 in wages or self-employment income. When you've earned $5,640, you've earned your four credits for the year. So, generally you need at least 10 years of work to get 40 credits. But, this requirement differs based on what insurance you mean. The benefits also differ. Private insurances usually have benefits equal to 30 to 80% of your pre-disability salary, depending on the policy premiums, less any other disability benefits. For SSI, the monthly maximum federal amounts for 2020 are $783 for an eligible individual, $1,175 for an eligible individual with an eligible spouse, and $392 for an essential person. For SSDI, the amount you receive each month will be based on your average lifetime earnings before your disability began. Most SSDI recipients receive between $800 and $1,800 per month, the average for 2020 is $1,258. The max benefit is around $2,800 if you are referring to Social Security Administration SSA, Disability Insurance, your benefit is determined by your work and salary history. Basically what you and your employer have paid into the SSA system through payroll deductions. SSA will attempt to establish eligibility for disability insurance based on your work history first. SSI on the other hand is for qualified applicants who A do not have enough work and salary history for disability insurance claim, or B when an individual is deemed, totally and permanently, disabled. It typically takes 40 quarters of work and salary history to qualify for SSA benefits. It is very common for most SSA claims to be denied for hundreds of reasons. That's why there are thousands of attorneys who specialize in SSA benefit denials. Everyone has the right to dispute a benefits denial, but it can take a long time to be heard by an administrative judge. OASD is paid for with a 12.4% federal payroll tax, sometimes it says FICA on the pay stub. The employee pays 6.2% and so does the employer. The Social Security Administration uses this money to pay in cases of old age, survivor, disability claims. The amount of the benefit is determined by the number of quarters you have paid the tax. For old age claims, one applies at retirement. The full retirement age varies based on the year you were born but is nominally in your mid 60s. Survivor claims are for spouses and minors whose parents paid the tax and then died. Disability claims are paid when you are unable to work due to a permanent disability. Separately, one can buy a disability insurance policy which can pay under different terms. Short-term disability is generally for illnesses or medical conditions from which you expect to return to work within six months, pregnancy or broken bones for example. 
Long-term disability is for conditions that render one unable to work for the foreseeable future, paralysis or untreatable mental defect for example. One is a government program to provide an income to worthy groups not otherwise benefited. It could be the children of a dead social security recipient or a disabled person without enough years of work at a covered job to receive SSDI. The other is a private insurance program often provided as an employee benefit by employers which covers disabilities that happen while you have that job. Usually workmen's compensation would cover on-the-job accidents or occupational hazards but there are many ways to become disabled and disability insurance is designed to cover anything that makes it impossible for you to work either permanently or temporarily. Disability insurance often provides a higher income than SSI but it still won't be higher than some percentage of your previous income. Often that percentage is 50% with a limit on how high it can go. Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, is funded by the taxpayer through their income tax. You must have a certain amount of work credits and a qualifying disabling condition in order to collect this benefit from the federal government. SSDI comes from the same fund as SSR. Supplemental Security Income SSI, is funded by a state's taxpayers. It is welfare reserved for those that are disabled and did not have the work credits to qualify for federal SSDI. You must be a resident of the state in order to collect SSI from it and have a qualifying disabling condition. The purpose of these two programs is so the disabled person can sustain life.